Hi everyone, we're here with another cool Pixflow tutorial. In this one, I want to show you how to use Text Distortion Toolkit in cartoon themed videos. So without further ado, let's jump into it. As you can see, inside After Effects I have a couple of footages, Motion Factory plugin and Text Distortion Pack opened in the panel. If you don't know how to use Motion Factory or Open Text Distortion in Motion Factory panel, you can check out those other tutorials from the links in the description below. Now, by opening the color version of Text Distortion Toolkit, I can see previews of each title form in the panel. I like this one for the first footage, so I'll double click on the item to open it in the project panel. Then drag the title comp on top of the first footage and trim it by pressing Alt close bracket. Scale it down a bit and position it at the top. To change the colors and text, we can easily open the title comp and click on the setting layer. I can change them here in the Motion Factory panel or go to the Effects Controls panel and change the colors there. And if it didn't work, I can hit the reset button right away. Alright, now let's change our colors. I want the first color to be a light blue, like this. A darker blue for the second one. And something warmer for the third one. Hmm, looks good. Now to edit the text, I'll open the text comp, double click on the text layer and write mine. Then I can change the font from here. Nice and easy. And we're done with the first one. Now let's work on the second footage. I want to do something different than this one. But first, let's find a title that is a good match for this old seemingly Yogi Man stretching. Yes, this one is great. Again, double click to open it in the project panel. Drag it on top of the footage number 2. Scale it down and bring it to the right. Great, let's trim the layers as well. I want to change the text first in this one. Just like before, title comp, text layer and edit. Now to the text color. Something like this. Okay, as you can see in the footage, we have a narrow light on the old man's body. To create this light on our text, I'm going to duplicate the title comp by pressing Ctrl D. Then bring the first one a little to the right, but we can't see it now because of its color. So I'm going to find a fill effect from the effects panel and apply it to the first title comp. Then change it to white. Nice, now we have the same effect on our text and they look good together. Now for the third footage, I want to use one of the titles with a particular pattern. Well, this one is perfect. So double click on the item and drag it on top of the footage. Then change the starting point in the timeline to see the whole animated text. For this item, I want a solid color, so let's apply the fill effect on the title comp and change the color to something like this orange. Now we need to mask out the area around our character. So I draw a mask around it, invert the mask and fine tune it again. and feather the mask as well. Now I'm going to open the title comp and you can see that we have the setting layer and two text comps. So I edit each text comp by opening it. Let's call our character here Lonely Wolf. It seems like she has a story, right? 
Now on to the last footage. As it is a happy footage, I want an energetic title animation for this one. Let's see what we have here. Mm, yeah, something like this. Again, add the item to the project panel by double clicking, then dragging it on top of the footage. Now let's change the colors from the setting layer in the title comp and match it to the footage. Let me turn this red and blue to white and turn this white to black. Next, editing the text and fonts. There you go. Now we know we can easily use Text Distortion Toolkit for cinematic videos as well as cartoons. So go get creative with it. Cheers and subscribe.